the city of Dallas. Now one step closer to a new ordinance that could address street racing, stunt shows, and turnout events like this. A community-wide problem many residents are complaining about. They are plowing down streets at ridiculous rates. Dallas police and city attorneys have been hard at work. A proposed street racing ordinance presented to the city council's public safety committee on Monday now targets the spectators, those gathering and helping to make these illegal events thrive. We must stop this before we end up with more people being killed. Dallas's proposed spectator ordinance is modeled after other cities who've been cracking down on street racing problems. It could become an offense to knowingly be present at any street racing or reckless driving event. Property owners who allow these shows could also be cited. The punishment, fines up to $500. I think that we're dealing with, with um, some pretty sophisticated people. DPD Street Racing Task Force has been trying to address the issue. Over the past weekend alone, officers received 114 emergency calls for racing, made 233 traffic stops, issued 500 citations, arrested 12 people, and seized five guns. Even the eastbound lanes of 635 under the Wasser Bridge were a hot spot for stunts over the weekend. Just take a look. Tread marks where cars stop traffic to perform donuts are still fresh on the highway. The proposed ordinance also gives the city the power to label cars involved in these events as nuisance vehicles. We're finally saying in Dallas that you're not you're not going to have those those the street races here in the city or you'll you'll lose your vehicle. Those cars could be impounded or sold at public auction. The full city council could vote on the spectator ordinance at its next meeting. In Dallas, I'm Damon Fernandez.